In this video, we'll cover how an EDI workflow between a client and its trading partners can be implemented on Vocado. In this scenario, a retailer is looking to restock its store's inventory of iPhones from our client. To do so, the retailer would submit a purchase order in an EDI 850 document type which follows the extra format to our client. Each purchase order received by our client would then kick off several workflows created by business technologists from different teams. For example, the finance team would use this event to generate an invoice back to the retailer. The logistics team would start packaging the iPhones as well as schedule delivery times. All of these can be executed in parallel to optimize the entire workflow. Also in this demo, the EDI solution that we will showcase here for receiving and parsing EDI documents is the Orderful platform that Mercado integrates with and has a pre-built connector for. Integration with these EDI solutions means that the complexity of the trading partner onboarding process, the aligning of EDI communication standards, the EDI document type and data validation, providing process insights into the full life cycle of an EDI document, as well as the reporting of all documents being traded. These are all handled automatically and the Mercado Recipe Builder is able to focus on building the logic of the workflow instead, drastically reducing the time spent for development. Mercado also integrates with other leading EDI solutions listed here and works seamlessly in the recipe that we'll see later on. Teams can collaborate in different projects. Each project allows the user to set up connections and build recipes to automate workflows. A business technologist from the finance team would start by creating a recipe that triggers whenever an EDI 850 document type for a purchase order is received. This is where we'll set up the order full trigger First, by setting up the connection to Orderful, and then by configuring it to pick up only the relevant EDI documents that we need for this use case. After receiving the purchase order, we'll add the next step to acknowledge the transaction. Then, we'll proceed on to publish its contents to our message broker, Mercado PubSub, an event-driven, message-oriented architecture that decouples publishers and consumers. More information on how to set up and use Mercado PubSub topics was also covered in video 3. Here, we will add an action to publish this message to a PubSub topic where we've also pre-configured the message schema to represent a purchase order. We'll need to map the data from the incoming transaction from Orderful here. So we'll also use the group map feature to quickly map the many fields in the purchase order to the topics message. Now that the fields are mapped correctly, We'll start the recipe so that it will now monitor for incoming purchase orders. And for each purchase order received, a job report is generated which shows all of the data process and how it was used at each step. This makes it very useful for a recipe builder to perform debugging or an admin to perform audits later on. So by publishing the message to the message broker, this allows other recipes who are subscribed to the topic to kick off their individual workflows. Going back to our use case, there are three processes that should happen in parallel when a purchase order is created. Finance needs to prepare the invoice in NetSuite, Logistics needs to create a fulfillment ticket in ServiceNow, as well as to schedule a suitable delivery timing with Walmart. These recipes can be built by the business technologists from the different teams by simply mapping the fields from the published message 
into their corresponding systems. The pub sub pattern here is ideal in this scenario because it allows each team to quickly iterate on their sub component of the entire workflow and not get blocked by the upstream development work. Here, the recipe builder only focuses on the logic needed to create an invoice in NetSuite. Likewise, this pattern is repeated for the other recipes as well to automatically create a fulfillment ticket in ServiceNow to prepare for packaging. Whilst the decoupled nature of a PubSub service allows us to break down an entire flow into sub-components and build recipes for each, the discovery and dependency checking of each component now becomes more important as well for auditing. So, in this case, we can use Bocado's dependency graph to identify how each recipe, connection, or pub sub topic is linked together. Here, we'll select the recipe that we originally started off with. As you can see from the graph here, the recipe uses the orderful connection to process an incoming EDI and then publish it to a pub sub topic. That message in the pub sub topic is now pulled from the three recipes downstream here. While we have completed the original workflow of automatically processing EDI purchase orders, our client now wants to also open up other file transfer options for its trading partners, starting with allowing them to upload purchase orders in the form of an encrypted XML file into an SFTP folder. So to do so, we can leverage on the existing PubSub model and drop in a new recipe here that processes such files without having to modify any of the recipes that we created before. This would save a huge amount of time that would otherwise have been spent on change management. Let's see how such a recipe would look like. Here, we'll set up the recipes trigger to monitor from new or updated file in an SFTP folder. We can also filter only files ending with a certain file extension with a trigger condition. Whenever a partner uploads a purchase order, we'll start by checking if the trading partner is already registered by cross-referencing the information from a Mercado lookup table. This is different from the earlier recipe for ingesting EDI documents, where the orderful platform manages the entire trading partner onboarding process. Workado lookup tables allows recipes to read and write data to it and is a great option to store trading partner information if you like to manage the trading partner onboarding process entirely within Workado. Each onboarded partner will be assigned an entry in the lookup table where it contains the external partner ID here and the PGP keys used for the purchase file order encryption. Here, the recipe will grab the corresponding entry from the lookup table, where we'll be using the PGP keys to decrypt our partner's file. Should the decryption fail, error monitoring logic in the recipe will inform the partner that something went wrong. Otherwise, we can proceed to parsing the XML contents of the decrypted file into the format that we are expecting the purchase order to be in. And then, we'll finally map the fields from the XML file into the corresponding fields of the pub subtopics schema so that our other downstream recipes can start consuming purchase order from this newly added publisher, thus completing our use case. This pattern becomes scalable as we can quickly add more recipes to handle files from different trigger sources. For example, we have S3, Box or Dropbox, as well as Google Drive, OneDrive or PipeDrive. We can also use this pattern to parse different kinds of file formats. For example, in the app listed over here. Finally, 
When the recipe development is completed, deploying to test all production environments is easy with the deployment tool, which allows us to specify the target for deployment tool, and then identifying all of the assets used for this project, including connections, pop up topics, and lookup tables. After the deployment is complete, the project is then made available for QA in a test environment.